What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Today, I'm doing a very special bottle. The oldest whiskey I've ever had, I think. Canadian Club 40 year old. All right, this beautiful decanter is just hitting the LCBO shelves right now. I was lucky enough to try this Thursday night at the release of this at Jump Restaurant downtown. Incredible stuff. We're gonna talk about it. But first, I wanna tell you that this is 100% corn whiskey. It was aged in a combination of once filled American oak barrels and barrels that previously had rye in them. So it's 100% corn, but you do get rye nuances because of the fact that it's been aged in rye since 1977 okay so since 1977 this has been in barrels they put that in a vat and they tried it at around 60% what it came out at and then decided to bring it down to about 45% which is what they bottled it at 45% all right um, I'm pretty happy that they were able to get those extra numbers out of a 40 year old 45% is pretty cool. There's only 7,000 bottles made of this whiskey, all right? So they put more of the money into the bottle than the box, which is what everybody would want. And what's inside is what counts, and it's really, really good, okay? So like I said, 100% corn, bottled at 45%, no added color. That is very different than many Canadian whiskeys out. And it seems like it took Canada's 150th anniversary, which is this year, 2017, for these Canadian whiskey companies to come out with whiskeys that are appealing to the whiskey market, right? No added color, unchill filtration, all these types of things are coming out now. And there's a whole bunch of expressions that are putting Canada on the map, in my opinion, if it hasn't been done so already, all right? Or back on the map, because there was a time where Can Canadian whiskey was very popular, and that's kind of dwindled over the years. And this year, I really think with this release and some of the other expressions um, from other companies, we're getting some really, really quality Canadian whiskey. I've had the opportunity to try pretty much everything from the Canadian club range, including the 20 year old, the 30 year old, which was a highly exclusive bottle that not too many people got to try. And now this, and it's kind of full circle for me. Beautiful Canadian Club trademark, butterscotch. Um, it, it's very identifiable to smell a Canadian Club for some reason. Kind of reminds me of how, if I had one scotch that I say, that I always tend to say that um, I can identify after one smell, it's usually the Macallan, like any sherry type Macallan. If, I, if there's a Canadian whiskey that I would be able to identify Based on the smell, it's definitely Canadian Club. Caramel, caramel corn. Some rye maltiness in there, which is kind of interesting. Beautiful nose. What's really surprising about this whiskey is how it's not overly oaky at all, okay? Not on the nose or on the palate. But you do get some beautiful oak influences like a little bit of cinnamon, there's some vanilla in there, maybe a bit of citrus. Really, really nice legs on this glass. Okay, thick legs. It's been sitting for at least a half hour in the glass. I poured it a while ago. Um, just broke the seal on the bottle, if you can see. All right. And it's starting to open up. This one you're gonna really wanna take your time with, guys. Pour it, let it sit for a half hour before you even start to nose it, and then go at it, nose it, taste it, drink it slowly.
there's some apple, but like a cooked down like apple pie. Okay, on the palate. There's no way you can tell that that's 45%. It's smooth. It's got a nice pepperiness, but nothing overwhelms the palate here other than the quality, all right? Um, it's mouth filling. I'm not 100% sure if this is unchill filtered. That wasn't necessarily revealed at the tasting, and it doesn't say it on the bottle. So I'm gonna say that it's probably chill filtered based on the fact that they brought it down to 45 instead of 45.6, all right? Beautiful nose on this. It's buttery. It has that distinct Canadian club taste to it, which makes me think it has something to do with the barrels that they choose because I'm not sure how that happens. It's not overly sweet, which is kind of surprising that it's sweet at all at 40 years old. Usually you don't get a lot of sweetness from older scotch, but I'm getting a ton of, not a ton, but a good amount of sweetness in this one, which is really, really nice. That's my son in the background. Beautiful whiskey. This is really, really nice, guys. You're gonna wanna run out, you're gonna wanna grab it quickly at the LCBO especially because from what I've heard, there's about 10 to 20 bottles in pretty much every region that went like this today, all right? And it's, bought, it's priced at 250 bucks. For a 40 year old, I think that's an absolute steal. There's gonna be a lot of people that are used to just buying Canadian whiskey that think that's high. You buy a 40 year old Scotch, you're not spend, spending anything less than $2,000 Canadian. If you buy a 40 year old anything, you're looking at obscene amounts of money Nothing south of a thousand dollars anywhere you go thousand pounds thousand dollars American two thousand dollars Canadian I highly doubt you're finding it for anything less than that so at two hundred and fifty dollars this is they're pretty much giving this stuff away um, I think the fact that it's Canada uh, Canadian um, one hundred and fifty year anniversary and the fact that there's a lot of companies coming out with really quality products in Canada and the competitors are really kind of pushing that market. Um, Canadian Club made the wise choice and came out with something that's probably, actually it actually is the oldest Canadian whiskey ever bottled. Okay, so um, really, really cool stuff. Very, very, very good stuff in my opinion. Um, highly recommend you try it. $250 is a joke. I think the secondary market on this is gonna be outrageous. When I had the Canadian Club 30 year old, I had bought it for 180 bucks, I think, and basically when I was just about to open it, I did some research on the secondary market and I probably could have sold it for $1,000 American. I chose to open it instead. That, that video is actually in my archive, so you guys can check that one out. I'll actually put it at the end of this video so that you guys can see it. Um, but this is a very refined whiskey, all right? It's for those who really appreciate whiskey, um, are not looking for something that's just really super sweet, okay? That's what tends to happen with Canadian whiskeys, but for this one, it's just a really well-rounded well whiskey, a very, very nice whiskey, okay? So I'm gonna give this one, man, one more sip. The fact that it's bottled at 45%, beautiful creaminess, nice finish, nice pepperiness, sweet, but not overly sweet. It's 40 years old. It's priced at an incredible price. I don't usually take price into as a factor, but I, I don't see how you can avoid that with a 40 year old 
whiskey. Um, for it to be 250 bucks, I think that's a steal. So I'm gonna have to give this an A plus, guys. Um, probably a 90 on the dot if I had to give it a numeric mark, but that's an A plus for me. Everything up to from 85 to 89 is an A, 90 and above is an A plus for me. So that's an A plus, really, really nice stuff. I definitely am gonna be seeking out buying another bottle because I highly, I wanna keep this, I wanna hoard it a little bit. And I also think that it would be really cool to have a few years down the line to give to one of my kids because I don't think that too many companies are gonna be doing a 40 year old, especially one that looks this nice, all right? This bottle is just beautiful. Okay, so that's an A plus for me. Um, definitely want you guys to check it out. I have a funny feeling that that mark is actually gonna climb as I go further and further down this bottle because as you guys know, I talk about this a lot, especially with the older stuff, they kind of take a little bit more time to get into their money zone. And this, I don't think I've even reached the pinnacle of what that's gonna look like. And it's still an A plus for me. So I'm excited to see what that's gonna be around the halfway mark and I might have to re-review it. We'll see. All right, um, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can also check me out on Snups. We can share stuff like this. I wanna see what you guys have on your shelf. So check me out on Snups, that's S-N-U-P-P-S, all right? Um, I wanna see some of the stuff that you guys are stashing away these days, all right? And like I said, there will be a subscribe button in the corner over here and probably the Canadian Club 30-year-old video in this bottom corner on the left-hand side of me, so the, your right-hand side. Cheers, guys.